Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be making a book to use as my prize for my giveaway now that I've reached 500 subscribers. I'd exceeded that number. Uh, it's going to be this size of this envelope that I've uh, cut down that's going to be used as my template. And now I'm just going to make a double page template. These are all my papers and this is going to be my cover, hand painted by me. I'm just selecting a section that I like there. Of course I'm making the cover just a tad larger than the pages are going to be. I've had to do a lot of speeding up in this video because it was hours long otherwise. And I'm getting my paper cutter because I'm not very good at cutting straight lines. And this uh, helps me get it correct. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a bit of a spine, one centimetre wide. Hopefully I'll be able to get two signatures in this. And then I'm going to have a flap going over. Again, that's going to have a bit of a spine as well. Again, uh, one centimetre. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for the, uh, for the closure yet. So that's how it's going to look. I might round off the edges, but I might just decorate. I'll have to see how um, it looks. I'm beginning to like the feel of that already. <laughs> it hasn't even got anything in it yet. So these are the papers, some of the papers. I've got quite a pile to my right as well that I'm going to cut down to size. And now I'm making the double page template. I'm going to cut out lots of double pages. And I'm using this uh, fairly lightweight card. And here are some of the papers I'm using. This is from um, a magazine to do with engineering. I've put some stiffer paper in as well. This is um, acrylic paper. It's got a texture like canvas. These are some lovely pages from a Japanese art book I have. I've, I've been hanging on to it for years, but I've decided to use it in some artwork now. My um, iPad is in front of me. I'm actually Skyping with a friend as I'm working. Time flies by when you've got someone to chat with and art with. This is just part one of the making of this book. I couldn't manage to finish it all in this one session. Light became, became a bit of an issue, so I had to turn the camera off. But um, I do get quite a bit done in this part. I get the paper cut out and I start to do some folds and um, pockets and things like that. And here's me doing some pockets there, which I shall sew. So a good variety of different papers I'm using here. Some of these pages are from the magazine I used in my supermarket challenge a video. I 
and these pages I'm putting some side pockets in. And I'm going to sew the tops and bottoms of those. I thought I'd put some squared paper in for anyone who'd like to actually do some writing in the book. And because the paper's fairly thin, I think I'll be gluing some pages together. I have these book pages and they aren't quite the right size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them in the middle there and then I'm going to have a bit of a flap on one side. I shall also be saying that as I'm working I've got a pile um, that I'm putting um, next to me. It's going to have some sewing later on and off screen obviously. I'm making some corner pockets. And this pink page I'm doing a corner pocket in a matching colour. Try to find something that these little pockets will suit. I like the little birds. And again, this will go on my sewing pile. So I think I had a bit of a coffee break. And as you can see, the light is beginning to come in at the top there. So um, I'm going to have to stop soon. And I'm making an envelope fold out. And I'm going to sew that in place before I fold it as well. I tried to figure out I want to join those two um, envelopes somehow, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it. So 
So I take some coordinating paper and create a seam in the middle, which I glue at this stage and will sew later with all the other pile of sewing. Just as well I sped this up because there was a bit of um, indecision at that stage. And now I want to make some invisible pockets. Oh, now I'm doing some side pockets first. Using these two Japanese pages. What I'm doing is I'm gluing top and bottom and leaving the sides open so that things can be slipped in and out. And this is where the light has become too much. So I'm going to leave it here and I'll show you part two tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.